A release date for Skull and Bones may finally be in sight thanks to the latest Ubisoft investor call. Let's take a look at what was said. Hey everyone, Sam here, also known as Mr. Stainless, and welcome to my channel. It's been a long time since we've gotten any credible or reliable information on Skull and Bones, but recently Eve Gimo let slip some new information about a concrete release window for the game, which is pretty exciting, we haven't had one of those in a while. So for those of you who don't know, Skull and Bones is the open world, somewhat sandbox pirate game that was announced by Ubisoft back in 2017. The game garnered quite a bit of attention back then from players who saw it as a spiritual successor of sorts to Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And the game continued through development and at E3 2018 we were even shown some really amazing, very stylistic gameplay uh, which is actually what you're seeing on screen at the moment. Now, shortly after E3 2018, it was announced that the game was being delayed and it has been experiencing constant delays since then to the point where it didn't even look like the game was ever going to get released. Well, Ubisoft just had their investor and shareholder call this week and a few of the questions that came up at the end of the call were directed towards the development and progress of Skull and Bones. Eve Gimo stated that the game was progressing really well uh, and that they were all incredibly happy with the progress that was being made. He even went as far as to give us an indication of when the game would be released, as he said as the answer to the final question of the call, that for Fiscal 22, we expect to release three to four AAA games, including Skull and Bones. Now, it's highly likely that some of those other AAA games will be the likes of Rainbow Six Quarantine and Gods and Monsters, which equally came up quite a bit in the call as well. Now, Fiscal 22, from my research, uh, is the fiscal year for 2022, which starts in October 1st, 2021, and runs to September 30th, 2022. I'm sure there's some accountants among you uh, in the, who are watching this who may prove me wrong in that. I just did a quick Google. If I'm wrong in that, it's Google's fault, okay? Uh, just, just go easy on me. Now, while that still leaves quite a large window of release, if we look at the games Ubisoft are releasing this year when it comes to their larger AAA titles, they prefer to lean upon a fall or holiday release schedule, having their games come out between October and November. Now, if I was to hazard a guess on when we'll see this game, going from that kind of information, I think we could be looking at October 2021 as a potential release month. A recurring theme that kept coming up in the conference call was how Ubisoft were pleased with the progress that had been made on their games when they chose to delay them and giving them some more development time. I've said it before and I will say it again, I think Skull and Bones is going to be a very different experience when we see it next and I think it's definitely one game that has been affected, I hope positively, by the additional development time. Only time will tell but I for one am definitely keeping my fingers crossed that we see this game next year. But folks, that's all I got for today's video. Why not join my Discord to continue the conversation? There's a link down in the video description. But until next time, have a great week. I'll speak to you all soon.